It's time to play ball for this edition of Getting to Know the Rockets as we welcome in Toledo Baseball head coach Rob Reinstedt. Coach, thanks so much for being with me today. Thanks for having me. How do you feel like the team is doing so far in these early stages of MAC play? I mean, we've gotten off to a really good start in MAC play. I mean, six and three is, is a, a fantastic start. Um, you know, early in the season, we played really well uh, at times. We pitched really well, didn't really hit that great. Uh, hitting's come on, pitching stayed strong, so I, I feel really good as we, you know, advance into MAC play. Through your five years with the Rockets, the team has been on the rise and broken plenty of records. Mm -hmm. What about your team culture has fostered that level of success? That was the biggest thing we had to change when I got here five years ago was just a culture of expecting to win and having having the guys all buy into that. Um, and it's turned out pretty well. I mean, we've had our ups and downs. Like, you know, two years ago we were – 33 and 26, which was like the third most wins in program history. And last year we kind of took a little step back and, and was right around 500. And, and so we learned from that. And I think this year we're, we're better equipped to make a, a nice run and have a great season. Now, before you came to Toledo, you made stops at Western Kentucky, Ole Miss, and even starting at Ohio Dominican. Mm -hmm. Which of those stops do you feel like was the most transformative for you as a coach and why? I've had, I think, six or seven different schools I've been at. And at each one, you take a little bit from each stop to kind of formulate who you want to be as a head coach, right? And so as an assistant, you know, you, you don't have control over the entire program. You have input, but you don't have control. And so you're, you're really good in your areas. And so you kind of start taking notes. Well, I like how this is done. If I was a head coach, I would do this differently. And then once you get that opportunity to be a head coach, then you kind of put it all together and you kind of be your own person. So to answer your question, I don't really have a specific stop that was probably the most impactful because I think at each one I learned something different about how to run a baseball program and how to be a head coach. Even before your coaching career began, you were also an assistant scout with the Dodgers. Correct. How does that impact the way that you recruit? Recruiting and scouting are two totally different things. I mean, recruiting is more relationship building. Hmm. You have to identify talent, of course. But it's building those relationships and getting them to buy into coming to your program and giving themselves up to you. Whereas as a scout, you're solely just evaluating talent. Because once a kid gets drafted, that scout will never see him again. For me, like we are both you know, recruiting and scouting because we're building those relationships. We're the ones developing them too. So um, yeah, I mean, the scouting thing kind of taught me how to evaluate a player at a young age. And then at each stop, you just kind of learn how to recruit and, and build those relationships. Well, I always end these segments with a little bit of rapid fire. So if okay. you're ready to go, my first one is, who's your favorite baseball player of all time? Craig Biggio, Why? Houston Astros. Because uh, when I was a player, I was compared to him a little bit. Uh, with our style and kind of the way we went about our business. So he was always kind of the one that I kind of looked up to. Going off of that, all players have a walk-up song. What would yours be today? We'll just say Return to the Mac, because Coach Mac is my assistant coach, and he loves that song. And when you're not watching film, what is your favorite show to binge? Game of Thrones. Ooh, there why? Um, I just I kind of like that that medieval time period and all that. And if, uh, if I wasn't a baseball coach and if I had to put myself in another – Another time frame would probably be in that medieval night type type era. So a history buff as a whole? Yes, very much so. All right. Well, yeah. thanks so much for coming in and yeah, helping us get to know you better. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.